Hi guys, Ryan here and today I'll be doing a guide on how you can get the Amenoma Kageuchi Sword Blueprint. At the end of the video, I will also talk about who should use this weapon and compare it with other weapons in game. Before you start the quest, you will need to have completed the Konda Village quest, starting with the Shrine Maiden located here. I will leave a link to the guide above. Once you have finished the Konda Village quest, head to Jinren Island at the northernmost point of Inazuma. On top of the island, you will find a man trapped in a cage. But before that, you will need to defeat quite a few enemies. So just clear them up and speak to the man in the cage. He will tell you the location of the key. So climb to the tree behind. And there's a key located in the trees. Use it to free the man. Once you have rescued him, he will teleport you to another location. So just follow him. Once you are here, he will tell you about the treasure and ask you to locate the four stone slates. The first stone slate can be found behind Kamisato Estate. Head to the beach here and defeat the enemies. Once you have defeated them, look for the tent structure. Yep, here. There's a small tent. And here you'll find your first stone slate. For the second location, you need to head back to Konda village and enter the well. Once you have entered the well, head to the shrine area. But head right. Here you'll find an electrogranum to pass through the barrier. And behind the barrier, you'll find a secret room. Inside this room, there will be a few treasures and artifacts. But this is the most important. Pick up the second stone slate. For the third stone slate, you'll need to head to around me and activate this mechanism to enter the well. You should have finished the Konda Village quest and obtained the Memento Lens. So use the Memento Lens on the three Kitsune statues. Once you have used your Memento Lens, activate the mechanism. and the well will open up. Once you enter the well, head to your right, and you will find a puzzle. You will have to unlock this puzzle first before you can swim under the tunnel. Once you complete this, the water level will lower slightly, and you can swim in this tunnel. So follow this tunnel and swim all the way until the end to the stairs. Once you reach the stairs, head up and here you will find the third stone slate. After you have found the third stone slate, head to the back here and resolve this puzzle. You can resolve it by hitting the middle twice. Once you are done, the water will subside 
exit this place and find the second chamber. You'll be able to open this by activating this mechanism and walk through the chamber. There should be four ruined sentinels around here, but I have defeated it already. And you will find yourself this hidden waypoint. So you can activate this waypoint. But the fourth stone slate is located at this boat here. Yep, this location. Once you have got all four stone slates, head back to Jiro. Jiro will talk about the fifth stone slate that you'll need to find. So head to the location marked on your map. You have to dig the ground. You can also use your elemental site to find. Once you didn't find anything, head back to the island and look for Jiro. Here, he would have ran away. So look for him in Jinren Island again. Once you arrive here, you'll see that he got captured again. So defeat all the enemies. And now he'll give up and he'll actually hand you the treasure key. Once you got the key, you can open up the hidden chamber. Here you'll need to place the four stone slates. and a puzzle will activate. Once you finish the puzzle, you can enter the final room. But there isn't any treasure. So head back to Konda village. And speak to the parents. At the end of this conversation, they will hand you the Amenoma Kageuchi sword blueprint and also a sword prototype. So here, you'll use it, and now you can craft the weapon. So what do I think about this weapon? I think it's a good sub DPS weapon for characters with low elemental skill cooldown, but high energy costs. The two characters that work best with this is Electro Traveler and Jean. Both these characters have 80 energy costs. You can also use this weapon with Burnett, only if you don't have any energy recharge. How this weapon works is, you will gain succession seeds every time you use your elemental skill, and this will be converted into energy when you activate your burst. Although Seng and Chi Chi also has 80 energy, their elemental skill has too long of a cooldown to collect sufficient seeds. 
Another thing you need to know about these succession seats is it is able to stay on your sub DPS even when you switch characters. You don't need to collect all 3 seats before activating your burst because each seat only lasts for 30 seconds. This is important for Electro Traveler because his elemental skill has a cooldown of 13.5 seconds. What about main DPS like Ayaka, Animo, and Geo Traveler? Personally, I do not think it's a good main DPS weapon and will recommend using Black Cliff Long Sword or the Black Sword if possible. But if you are strictly talking about craftable weapons only, I suppose this is the best craftable weapon for Ayaka and Traveler. As for Keqing and Keya, I will stick with Prototype Rancor. Albedo is also still better with the Harbinger of Dawn. That's about it for the Amenoma Kageuchi. I will be doing a separate guide soon for individual craftable weapons also. Leave a like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.